Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wookie, and I'm back with another Marvel Snap video. Today, I'm going to be using this deck right here, which as you can see here, is basically your Shuri deck. Um, this is a deck I actually found randomly. I wish I could remember the guy's name, but he's basically top of the top. Um, currently grinding through the game, and this is the... He's like in, in Infinity. He's in a place way beyond that I am. And this is the deck that he said was the best deck. And I said, I have all these cards. I will gladly try these out and see what he what he has to say. Because I am actually kind of curious to, to wonder what is the best deck. Because I have been actually looking and trying to see like what exactly is the best in the game at the moment. And funny enough, I don't really have an idea for what a deck is. But I know for sure that these cards... Arrow and Leader are probably two of the best cards in the entire game, and this deck uses it. So there you go. So here's the basic strategy of the game of the deck, as far as I can tell. Uh, play Shuri and then win. You have Maximus, who can go up to a 14. You have White Queen, that could, could go to a 12, but really she can also just look at your opponent's hand, and you can just know what they have. So if they have a big 6 drop, um... You know for a fact what they have, and then also if it's a deck that you know specifically needs a big six drop, like let's say move, um, even though it feels like every single move deck always has Heimdall in it, you can actually use White Queen to check to see if they have Heimdall. Vision can turn into a 514 under Shuri. Arrow is there for literally just control into win games, and she can turn into a 16 with Shuri if you need it. The leader is the leader, should get nerfed at some point. And Magneto is Magneto, and he can go up to 24 power with under Shuri, making it so that even if he pulls the strongest 3 and 4 cards on the other location, you still win. So there you go. Let's go into it. Right here, power. There we go. Let's go into it. I've tested the deck a little bit, and yeah, it's really good. I uh, unfortunately I'm not the greatest when it comes to using the leader, so I'm not the best when it comes to him. Um, some of the other cards in here are just really good in general. Like obviously, Ice Iceman is one of the better one drops in the entire game. Probably one of the best, honestly. I just ruining your opponent's day. Speaking of the move deck, here's a move deck. Someone using Iron Fist. All right, let's go. Okay, sure. I get uh, I get the Hulk. Sounds good to me, bro. I don't know what you're doing there, my guy, but I'm sure he's got something cooking up in the Mind Palace. He oh. <laughs> wow. Okay. Uh... What do I do? All right. I'm, I'm going to assume he's not going to put two cards down in Gamma Labs. I kind of want to keep Thor, because otherwise I'm just adding a useless Mjolnir to my hand. So he puts down two dudes in Gamma Lab. Who knows? District X. Okay. Plays both, so that means all the... man. Yeah, I don't know who's going to win this, my guy. But I, I know my lizard's strong. That's good enough for me. Oh, give it time. It's thinking. Thinking, turn it into lizard into the Hulk. There he goes. Mm, opponent snapped. Sure. I don't know why. He hasn't won yet. I, mean, I could just go Maximus. Uh, I really don't want to give him the draws, though. with that for now what could he possibly be have gotten from his random ass deck there we go what how many cards in his hand six okay go here here I want to keep the lanes open for when I use leader Ooh, that's a little bit rough, but it's fine. Gives plus two. He's gonna give plus two to Ant Man. Vibranium. Okay. So I, I just play leader here. I think I just win, right? I mean, if I lose this, I lose this, but whatever. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I just win with leader here, but maybe I'm wrong. And if I'm wrong, then I'll gladly give the win to this guy. Oh, 
Well, what? Victory. <laughs> I have no idea what this guy's plan was. Why did you snap? Why? I just want to know. I'm in 38. Apparently, I'm just getting the interesting dudes. Maybe it was a bot? I think I know a bot will always snap if he's winning on turn 5. But, uh, Let's go Iceman. I don't care if Iceman lives or dies. It frees up Vormir for me. Yay! Hmm. Vormir. Slap. Hope that hurts and goodbye dies, man. Rip to him, a real one. Oh god. Well, if I can get the leader in time, <laughs> he's gonna have to deal with. Uh... Yeah, I'm not. I'm not going for it. If you can't tell. Ooh. But I want to threaten like I am. Knock ya. Okay. What could he potentially have in his hand that would be terrifying? I can either go Shuri or I can go White Queen to do a hand check. I feel like I'm gonna go for the hand. I'm gonna go for a hand check real quick. What do you got in your hand, my guy? White Queen, huh? Well, lucky for me, I'm going first. Arrow is usually better on turn 6, but just to avoid him using Lockjaw. Okay. Who are you summoning here? That's pretty bad. But now he can't play anything here without just, uh... Hmm. I guess I can just go here. Is there any 3 or 4? Not really. None that I'm afraid of. I think I'll go here, and then I'll go here. Because I complete a, a lone lizard is just very scary to me. Maybe I'm making a misplay here, but I'm gonna go with it. Yeah, probably not. I'm gonna. I'm basically leaving it all up to fate now. <laughs> probably should have Maximus in the middle. Now that Arrow is over where she is, but we'll see how it goes. We'll see. Bad, bad to get. All right, Ironheart, not bad. Literally needs three power. Come on, don't. Yes! <laughs> By the grace of luck itself, just barely winning out. Oh, that arrow saved my ass. Able to completely divert it to a new location. Let's go. Why? Okay. I guess he just really wants- I think that's something you do higher up. You snap automatically to guarantee you get whatever. Okay. Oh yeah, Deadpool automatically dies in here. This is gonna make it go a little bit rough though. I think I'll go Scorpion and Vormir, unless there's a- okay, no. I'll go here. Wonder what happens if you play the leader on Grand Central. I guess you would get all the cards that they got that turn. Unfortunately, with a destroy deck, it's not actually the greatest to play leader early. Because you could always summon Carnage and then you're just dead. Hmm. Sure. Ooh. Okay, let's go here. Now, if I'm smart here, I can actually kind of control where he's going to be putting his cards next turn. I think I'll put this here. No, I think I'll put this here. Yes, I'll put this here. And then he's going to get Venomed. Sure. Sure. 
Round five. I think I'll play Vision here, and we'll see what gets pulled into what. But the idea here is that I can basically just use Arrow or Leader, depending on what we got here. So let's see, we got 14 power, big, big, big carnage right here, right? No, no carnage. I guess he's hoping for a big pull with this. Ooh, bad for me. Like, very bad. Somehow worse for him, though. Um, hmm, do I go leader and attempt to? No, I can't win with that there. Hmm, I feel like the obvious move is that he's going to start moving some of these dudes elsewhere. Maybe put leader here. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, that arrow being in the wrong place just kind of screws me over here. Uh, fourteen. Go for twelve. He's definitely about to get huge. Humongous. Mm. All right, you know what? I'm gonna go leader here, and we'll see what happens. <laughs> I lost that one. Like I said, it's bad to play the leader for with them. But I wanted to try it anyway. We carried it an even board, but man, that was such a bummer to lose it. I think I would have actually been fine if I had kept uh, Vision where he was. So it was a definite misplay on my end. Overthought it. Should have just played card. Got it done. Got it done. Is this the same person? Ah, uh, sure. Let's win back my uh, my stuff. Yeah, Deadpool again. Hmm, nothing good so far. Going to... First card here gets destroyed, so that's basically a free... Free Deadpool power for him. Hmm. See what we got, buddy. Domino, Captain Marvel. <laughs> All right, bye, Shuri. Alright, this time I have access to my arrow. So what I need to do is I just need to be winning in two spots, and then I just basically win the game. Okay. Oh. That helps. Okay, I think I'm going to... White Queen here. Mjolnir here. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to Mjolnir on my final turn. Okay. Perfect. Oh, this is actually lovely. Please, I know what you're gonna do now. Yeah. Oh yeah, buddy. So... Snap. 
at worst, I think I still win. Then I make him run away. But if I was him, I would probably try and kill Monger and get rid of my ones and try and sneak a win in Mojo World. Sure. 12. So I think I'm going to be pulling two of them, which is going to be Shang-Chi and Death. Well, that works too. Are you kidding me? By literally one power? Oh my god. Actually, the, the power of not having to go first, that was crazy. If I went first, I would have won that. That's so annoying that I lost to that guy twice. <laughs> And by one, totally didn't deserve it. This is Gambit. Oh, fully undeserved win from him. It should have pulled both of the ones. Those were the two ones that were revealed first. Uh, uh, that's what I have to say. Put this here. Next. Sure. Bye, leader. Armor's here, doesn't die. Yep. Both of us are safe now, my friend. I'm just gonna do it. I think it'd be pretty funny to do it. Actually, I could just get whatever he's got from the White Queen. And Maximus is strong enough that he's not gonna be able to defeat him by- Yeah, whatever he's playing here is dead. Yeah, he's dead. And then I think from this point on, uh, my Maximus is dead. I don't think I'm strong enough to beat Bucky by himself. You got it, game. You'll remember. I am stronger than him. Never mind. Alright, I think I'll White Queen right here. And then, let's see what this guy is cooking. It's obviously a destroy deck. So if he has death in his hand, I just get death. Okay, so yeah, I just I just win here then. I'm going to go here. Oh, though I should really force him to come over here. Cuz I think it'd be funnier. We'll see what happens. Like I said, as long as he doesn't have it Okay, yeah, we're fine. We're literally the same guy. All right. Um, here's my question, though. If we go, actually, no, I, I win regardless. Okay. Did he forget I had his Hulk? Maybe. Thumbs up. Come on, Gambit. Yeah, my buddy. My guy. <laughs> Good dude. Good dude. Okay, let's see. What next? One more, huh? I think I've shown already that this deck is very good. It's just that I'm not making the right play sometimes. It's definitely a skill issue on my part. But I think this deck is kind of insane. So, I don't know if it's the best deck, but it's definitely the one that is uh, sure winning me a whole bunch. Is I guess that counts. <laughs> yeah, don't really get bogged down in the issues of it all. Scorpion, rah! Uh, okay, let's go the Iceman Cometh. 
<laughs> we both put our X-Men to die. And they die. The death of the X-Men. I'm gonna go here. I want to see what's in his hand. I'm going to assume it's an Ultron deck, maybe? Why would you do that? It changes nothing. Oh, he got Doctor Doom in his hand. Okay. Let me see. Oh, my Maximus is gone. I don't know what the fuck happened to him. Uh... I mean, I guess we just... Arrow right here? No, he's already played. Arrow right here. We know his move, so. Oh. Let's see. Does he win with... Let me see here. Does he win? Okay, with five here, I need to simply have more than 13. So if I put... Leader here. No. If I put Cerebro here, then. No, Arrow gets the power here. Hmm. Magusa might be Kuka here. Should have saved Arrow for the final. Damn. Let's see. He gets 10, 13. Is there really no way for me to just give more power? No, far, not enough. All right, retreat. After doing the math, there's no way of doing it. Next. Uh, yeah, that was another case of I should have really saved Arrow. <laughs> If he had Doom, it should have been kind of assumed that he would probably have Wong. An arrow would kind of destroy Wong in the right circumstances if I go first. I don't know who revealed first on that one, actually. But if I did, it would be some problems. Oh, thank you for getting rid of Shuri. I really didn't need her. Thank you. Thank you, game. You're really looking out for a brother. Alright, what do we got, y'all? Perfect. Are you kidding me? Love to see it. I have a play basically for every single turn. Let's go. You'll love to see it. Might the Thor. To me, Mjolnir. You absolute <laughs> bitch. <laughs> you disrupted Mjolnir's presence. It's fine, I have vision. Vision, you can just go there if I'm being honest. If I feels like it, White Queen. Let's see what you have in your hand. Cosmo. <laughs> All right. Am I revealing first? Please tell me I'm revealing first. Da 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 there's no way Cosmo was the strongest guy in your hand. That's ridiculous. What the hell were you cooking at, my friend? What the hell were you gonna do with Mystique and Forge? <laughs> Whatever. I win with that one. Like I said, White Queen just sometimes... <laughs> totally wouldn't expect it. Alright, one more. One more. Because that one ended really funny. Ah, oh, Dissonance. It's my first game. You got it, my friend. Let's see what you got. What you got cooking? Mm -hmm. Quicksilver. This is an Agatha deck. Why else would anyone play Quicksilver unless it was in Agatha? Because you just want something to play turn one. That's my assumption anyway. Wolverine. Okay. Draw a card. Vision will help with the Sanctum. Mm. Uh, 
I guess I'm just, like, I could just go Maximus. I kind of want to see what's in his hand. Of course, White Queen could completely screw me over if this is Agatha. I really do think it's likely Agatha. Let's see, five cards in hand. Psylocke? Yeah, this is Agatha. 100%. Oh, do I risk it? I really don't want to get Agatha in my hand. She really doesn't know how to play the game. Uh, uh, I'm gonna risk it. Let's go. Come on, Agatha. It's not Agatha. What? The fuck are you playing? Zivajon. Yeah, what could he be playing if he's not? I don't know. I'm curious though. What? Maybe he's playing an X Men deck. Black Bolt's not an X Men though. He's a he's a Moon Man. He comes from the Moon. He chills out in the Moon. Has fun on the moon. Ow. It's a discard deck of some kind, maybe? Oh. Um. Yeah. I'll we'll go with that. So whatever he plays there goes there, I guess. But I think it's likely, um. I'm not going first, and it's. Oh. Oh. Okay. Stupid leader. They really need to learn Earth the leader. Get rid of him. I could have just used my leader, but then it wouldn't have been a point. Actually, I think I would have actually countered him if I'd used mine. I'm gonna go for one more, because nobody likes losing to the leader. It's the worst card to lose to. But it's okay, he was a, he was a beginner. So obviously, gotta give the beginner the benefit of the doubt on that one. Yay, so many cards to draw. It's a draw card, draw card in a bonanza. First card here is destroyed. Let's go, partner. Yeah, I don't know what else would. Uh, uh, fuck it. I'll disrupt what's ever in his hand. And he goes bye bye. Bye-bye. Sure. Let's let him draw two cards while we're at it. Mmm. Then he gets to just destroy them all. So this is likely destroyer deck, maybe? If I had to guess. So he probably just drew a destroyer. Only one way, there's one way to really find out. And that is to play the White Queen and then hope to God that my guy doesn't get, I don't get, I don't get it in Grand Central. Ooh, that's a nice card you got there. Yeah, that's a nice one. I think I'll go here. Uh, actually, no, because he's gonna destroy all the cards in that direction. So if I go here, go here, it'll be good. Oh, it's Galactus. So he drew Galactus. That explains a lot. So. Let's see, he has two cards. One of them is totally death. Uh, let's see, 12. So he can only pay... Ew, this is really bad for me. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna retreat now. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Nothing you can do on that one. I'm also gonna not end it on that one, so I'm gonna do another one. <laughs> That's why they're probably looking at nerfing Galactus, because... 
that sucked. It's an unfun card to play against. Because it's like, oh, okay. Guess I'll lose. Mm, Iceman. Oh, that's going to completely screw me over so much. Damn you, Iceman. Oh my god, this is basically <laughs> unwinnable. Oh my god, can you give me a fucking break? Oh wait, I do get a break. Yeah, yeah, we, we both go rock power on that one, my friend. Hey, hey, I'm gonna ask you to... Oh wait, no. It's smarter to do this. Yeah, whatever I play gets doubled, and by the way, you're only playing at cloning vats while I allow you. And I'm gonna get back a 16 power arrow every single time. So, get ready for that. All his rocks now are funny enough, uh, zero cost ones though. Yep. He retreated because there's no way to win. <laughs> That's a good one to leave it off on. <laughs> so yeah, this is deck. I think it's actually very strong. Uh, you can obviously get a little bit of bad luck, but that's Marvel Snap. And in that case, you should not do what I do. You should run away, which is the smart thing to do. Uh, but yeah, this deck's really strong. Um, I could see them potentially hitting Arrow and Leader. Um along with Galactus eventually. Not that Galactus is like the best card in the world, it's just that he's very annoying to play against because it's like, oh, I can't really do anything. He destroyed everything. It's different from when they use the location that destroys it on both sides of the field. That's fair, no one expects that. But when one player expects it, it creates like an unfun thing where it's like, well, now I have to fucking pay attention to where you're playing cards. And it's like, uh, it's just annoying. It's just very annoying. But yeah, I can see them hitting Galactus, Leader, and Arrow eventually down the line. Leader, just because I don't think anyone likes fighting the Leader. I don't. I think I've only ever seen one person defend the Leader, and that person was wrong. Uh, this card sucks to fight against. It sucks to play. Even when I use it, it feels unearned when I win. And when you lose, it's like, oh, I guess they figured out a way to do it. Uh, and in general, I just don't like the look of him. Look at him, stupid ass looking motherfucker. But anyway... I digress. I'm ending the video. Till next time. Peace out.